Hi, my name is Chris Roy, and I'm a full member in Youth Apostles. Today in the Gospels, we hear from the beginning of John chapter 6, the fabulous and famous miracle of the feeding of the 5,000 or the multiplication of the loaves and the fishes. This miracle is recorded in all four Gospels, and to highlight how important that is, the only other miracle to be recorded in all four Gospels is the very resurrection of Christ itself. I want to take a moment to look at the beginning of this gospel. At the beginning of this gospel, there's this massive crowd of 5,000 men and probably just as many women and children. They're all discussing amongst themselves, how are we going to eat our dinner? How are we going to get the food for our dinner? The disciples are murmuring amongst themselves. How are we going to be able to provide? Perhaps one of them walks up and asks Christ. I just imagine Jesus slowly shaking his head and saying, Why do you doubt me? If I ask you to get in your boats, to go out into the Sea of Galilee, and to throw down your nets, would you doubt for a second that I would provide, not only for all of these people, but many more? The disciples have simply forgotten about how God has provided for them in the past. And I think it's really easy for us to do that too, especially during this time of coronavirus. I invite you all to take a few moments and just think about how God has provided for you, whether it was a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. And while it may be tempting to think now that God has abandoned us to this pandemic, Remember his words from the end of Matthew's gospel. Behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Jesus is still with us. God has not abandoned us. He's giving us the strength to get through this time. 